everyone. It is 2 p.m. Actually, it's a little bit after 2 p.m. on um, Wednesday, the 18th of November. Just finding myself on my page. If you're here, jump in and say hello. I know it takes a little bit of time for um, Facebook to share that I'm online. So waiting to find myself and there I am. Oops, hello everyone. All right, if you're here, jump in and say hello. Nice to have you all here. Sorry about the glare. Um, I have to have both my lights on today because I forgot to open my curtains. And it's a bit dark without my lights on. So, sorry, you've got a bit of a glare on my glasses. Like, I've got extra things on my glasses. Anyway, we're not going to go there. It's just what it is. It is what it is, really. Hey, Linda. Nice to have you here. Oh, what a day. Oh, my goodness. I tell you. I actually... Um, had planned on using new software that I had purchased expensive software I have to add um, and it's glitching and I just tried it on my team page and it's um yeah it keeps freezing on my team page so I thought I'm going to try that with you guys you'll get very upset with me very frustrated so I've gone back to the old way which means later when I turn the camera around you're going to see my hand and my curtains and it's all going to be a mess but anyway it is what it is Thank you everyone for jumping in. When you jump in, say hello, hello, Priscilla. Sandra's waving, waving back at Sandra. Uh, yay. Okay, so I'm going to run through a few things and then I have lots of pro new product to show you from the um, new catalogue, which do I have it handy? Uh, oh no, I do. Wait, my desk is a mess. Bear with me. You know, I don't do these lives to be professional. <laughs> Obviously, you wouldn't come back otherwise. Um, I do these lives to uh, show you the card making. So, you know, here we go. Look, the lovely new catalogue. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. <laughs> Look at all those flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. And gold leafing. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. And then inside, I can't show you inside. Wait, I'll flip it out. Inside is, wait, I'll flip it out. Look at that. That is my wish list. Oh, there's a bit of glare on that. Hang on, I'll put it that way. Look at that. Wow, that's a big wish list. <laughs> that is what I want to get. That's massive. Woo. Right, you can tell I love this catalog. So, so pretty. Lots of flowers in there. That's me. I love flowers. Sam and I do this just for me. <laughs> the flowers. Um, yeah, look, more flowers on the back. Oh, wait, where's the glare? Look at that, more flowers. Oh, so pretty. All right, so if you want one of these catalogs, I can order them come the 1st of December, and then I'll be sending them out as soon as they hit my doorstep. If you don't already purchase from a demonstrator, um, and you want a catalogue, please let me know and I'll pop you on my list. Comment below or send me a private message and I will um, get you a catalogue. And if you have a really long wish list like mine was, ridiculously long, then you need to join my team because you will get 20% discount off everything. So, all right, now a few things I want to cover off before I show you the new product I got from the catalogue. First is, this is probably back to front, Kirby Christmas, stamping by mail is still open registration closes on the 22nd of november so that's using the curvy christmas um stamp set if you purchase the complete class so there's three options for the class there is the complete class which is 40 dollars. for that you get the stamp set which is 31 dollars or 30 something dollars i think it's 37 actually come to think of it so for $40, you get the stamp set, you get eight project kits and the tutorials, okay? Um, there's Next is the partial class, which is $30, and that's the project kits and the tutorials. And then there's a tutorials only option. So you may already have the product. 
you can get the tutorials emailed to you for twenty dollars so registration for that closes on the 22nd of november so please jump in and register for that the sooner you register the sooner i can get the stuff to you next is my online live live card class and this is on the i haven't written the date 30th of december so i've got one coming up that registration is already closed for the next one is the 30th of december registration for that closes on the 16th of december now uh, we're doing fancy folds in that class so i have the cards here they're really pretty so we're going to do this one the um oh my god the name has gone are you kidding me i can't remember what it's called <gasps> my mind's gone blank anyway this one it's like a panel dividing screen that's what i a dividing screen card that's what i call it so really pretty you'll learn how to make that one you'll also learn how to do the bay whoops wait a minute the bay window card okay so something really different bay window card and then you also will learn how to make the curvy card so sorry about the glare i know but you'll also learn how to make the curvy card now i'm using the uh, peony garden suite for these cards but they can be done in any design paper that you want your kits you will get will have the peony garden design series paper and they're designed to go with that stamp set but you don't have to use that stamp set any floral stamp set will work and any sentiments will work or you could even um, cut your own paper like learn how to make the basics of the card and then embellish it with your own paper and embellish it so you don't have to use what i have used at all you will get the paper the pattern paper cut to size for these cards um, but you can use whatever you want if you don't want to use these now included in that class um, so it's 40 dollars for the class and included in that class you get the everyday label punch so you get the project kits for six cards we make three of them on the night and the other three you make at your convenience whenever it suits you and you also get the punch so it's forty dollars and the class is on the 30th of december at 7 p.m brisbane time registration closes on the 16th now all these the standby mail and the classes i'll put links up after i finished um this live i'll add it to the top of the video so make sure you come back later and check for those links so that you can register now with this class being on the 30th of december we've just been told that our postal cutoff date for ordering is the 9th of december to hopefully get your order by christmas so because this class is the week after christmas i'm going to assume that postage is going to be really slow so even though registration closes on the 16th don't wait that long to register as soon as you register for this class i will get you your items so that you should get them well and truly before the class if you wait till the 16th to register and then maybe pay on the 17th then i cannot guarantee that you're going to get those items the class kits and the punch before the class so the sooner you register uh, the more guaranteed it will be that you actually have what you need to participate in that class now the classes are held online so i do a zoom meeting and if you want to join the zoom meeting you're more than welcome to and that means we can actually interact like actually chat like we're in the same room so crafting together and chatting and then it's also streamed to a private facebook group so that if you don't want to jump onto the zoom meeting you can watch the facebook live the facebook live is slightly delayed though so just a point so if i'm, I'm doing steps and you have a question in the card um i won't see your answer your question probably until i'm i'm beyond that point but i will definitely go back and answer it all right so that is the online live card class then the next one is the cards and bingo which is being held um on i forgot to write the date down oh my god it's i'm pretty sure it's the 10th of december i can't see my calendar right now but i'm pretty sure it's early in december uh, registration closes for that on the 27th of november on that night um it's 35 dollars, and you'll make three cards and seven games of bingo so um you'll actually get kits to make six cards but we'll make three on the night so you'll get an extra kit of the same card to make at a later time and we'll play seven really cool games of bingo so that's always a fun night so please uh register for that as well as soon as you can so i can get the stuff to you registration closes 27th of november 
that was it. That's all I had to go through. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around, have a quick drink because I've been talking too much. And then I'm going to show you all the lovely new products that I have from the upcoming catalogue. So bear with me while I turn you around. All right. So now you're going to see my hand. Oh, as I try to undo the camera stand. Oh, look, that's me. Oh, look, there I am. Oh, now I've gone now. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Now, it's going to look a mess because I have so much stuff on the desk. Let me just try and aim it right. Okay. So, here we go. I'm just going to start with what's on top. This is a really cool um, embossing folder. It's called Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. And it gives such a lovely texture. I actually used it in a card. I don't know if you can see it better in a card. Probably not. I made this card. Put it on this card. I don't know if you can see that texture there. So I've got to wait for my Facebook feed to catch up. So that's really lovely. Sorry, I just had a sip of coffee. <laughs> that's a really lovely texture. That's that embossing folder. All right. Now, if you hear a bang, I'm just going to dump everything on the floor. I should do it on the carpeted side so it's not so noisy. Look at this. Handsomely suited. Really cool. Really long ties. It is red rubber. Bow ties. Long ties. Cool Father's Day set. There is dies to go with that as well. This is suit and die cards. Now, these dies don't just cut out the ties. They also cut out a suit front. Really cool. Now, if you saw my sample mail I did not that long ago using the Christmas bow set. I don't know what it's called. Um, I made a suit front for a card, but look at this. This does it for you. Look at that. The suit, suit front, the lapels even, a collar for a shirt, cute little buttons, a pocket, the ties. If you want to make braces, you've got the long bit here and these little bit make really cool braces. So excellent uh, male option. People always say there's not much for males, but wow, I think this, this is going to be a winner, this one. This is really cool. And I've just put something in the wrong. <laughs> Look what I've done. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, so that's the handsomely suited. And there's paper to go with that as well. So let me just grab the paper. Oh, what was in there, the embossing form? Bin. Right, let me find the paper. All right, so I haven't even opened this paper. It is called Well Suited Design Series Paper. Let's open it and see what it looks like. This is really cool. This this check. I promise I'll get on to some card making after I've shown you all these lovely new products. Tie the lights. Look great. I don't want too much of a glare. All right, lovely check. That reminds me of a grandpa's shirt. Oh, stripy one, that's a good tie one. Wow, that looks like pajamas to me. My dad used to have pajamas sort of in that print. <laughs> a nice gray, like a woolen lens, I guess, print. Orange and blue, little overall print. Black and white grid pattern. Blue flowers, nice. Gray dots, gray and white dots, blue and gray and black stripes. Gray stripe. Some of these might be a bit bold, like when you look at a whole sheet. So think about like a small bow tie or a tie cut out of it or a shirt behind a suit um, and they're not so in your face. And then you've got the more muted ones on the back. 
with that grey paisley. Oh, that is really nice. I love that. That is nice. Blue little diamond dot things. And that's it. So that's the male suite. All right, we shall move that out of the way. Next, mini messages. Now, this is designed, all these um, messages, or sentiments, sorry, are meant to be stamped together as one. So it's the one big complete stamp. And you just stamp that, and then you use this messages die, and it cuts them all out. I'll show you what I mean. Like, so it cuts them all out at once. And I always open it the wrong way. Oi, oi, oi. There we go. See? Look at that. So that is a one big die. Let's just get it off the paper. All right. So that is the one big die that's going to cut them all out at once. I think it goes that way. That's going to be that way. So it perfectly lined up. And then you've got all those. Um, how many is there? There's lots. I don't know how many individual stamps there is. I'm sure it tells me. Look at that. That is wonderful. I love that. And then you don't have to use them all at once, obviously. Just have a little container on your desk and have them all sitting there ready to um, add to the next card you make. Really cool. I like that. Okay. So that is the Many Messages bundle. Next, floating and fluttering. This is a really cool clear stamp set and the butterflies, the shaded parts correspond with these, I'm sure. And it's like a um, collage type of, when you see it in the catalogue, you'll understand it makes more sense. It's like a collage stamp. So it's got matching dies, which we will just open up. Oh, goodness. There we go. Cut it out. So these are called the fluttering dies. He cuts them all out. So lots of really cool techniques you can do with these. Just you've got the coloured ones. You can colour it. You can use lots of different things with this frame. Yeah. Lots of butterflies. You never have too many butterflies. You know, I never used to like butterflies. That was a direct result of my father. <laughs> um, my grandmother used to have those butterflies. They were big in the 70s. Um, a blue and a yellow big butterfly on the side of the house in, at her retirement house. And my dad hated them. And every time we went down to see them down the coast, he'd always make a comment about those butterflies. So it's like, it naturally then I assumed his dislike for butterflies. <laughs> Weird. Quite Curvy you've probably already seen because it's been out for a little while. It was a, a early release from the catalogue and you've probably seen lots of samples with it. I've used it a few times. But it goes with the dies. Oh, that I've got aside because I'm using them on another project. Let me just them. So it goes with these curvy dies, which is really nice. And then there's the curvy Christmas stamp set. Um, that is what I'm doing my stamping by mail on. So I won't show that one because I think I've already shown you all that one. Corner bouquet. Now this is a celebration set. So celebration, January to March. So this next year we're having two celebrations instead of just the one. Normally we have January through to March. And for every $90 in an order, this is Australian, every $90 in an order you get to choose a level one celebration free product. Every $180 in an order, you get to choose a level two free celebration item or two level one items. As a demonstrator, we get to pre-order from the occasions. Oh, I want to keep calling it occasions. We get to pre-order from the January to June mini catalogue in from the 1st of December. Now, the stuff I have here is because I attended on stage online at home, sorry, on stage at home, and I could order early some of the products from the catalogue. So the rest of this um, and everything else in the catalogue, we can order on the 1st of December. So if you want any of this stuff early and you don't want to wait till January till the catalogue goes live, then you need to join my team 
and you can get all this in your starter kit so you don't have to wait till January but because we participated in the order early order we could also earn celebration items so this is a I think it's a level one item and it's called corner bouquet it's only available when you put in a qualifying order from January unless you're a demonstrator and can get it earlier um, but this is really cool I like this one and I can see like a wreath made out of this but like a little bit different love this like you really don't have to do much to make a card with this put this in the corner add a sentiment and you're done so so easy that's a red rubber stamp so that's a celebration item now dragonfly garden this is part of a what we call a mega suite so there's two stamp sets the paper let me just find there it is the other one right you can buy them all individually or you can get the whole suite which has got everything in it so you have your dragonfly garden stamp set which is designed to go with the dragonfly's punch and look at that cute little cute little guy there he's so cute um so that's the stamp set now some people i've heard um say we've had dragonflies before these are a little bit different and can you imagine these are going to coordinate perfectly with the ones that we had a few years ago we had a dragonfly stamp set and the dies these will coordinate perfectly so yeah really really cool so that card that i showed you before that i've now lost what did i do with it here we go all right so that's the dragonfly garden so the card that i made is using the other stamp set that's in the mega bundle called garden wishes and i've just used this one here and that sentiment wishing you all the best and the paper in the designer series paper pack i won't open this one i've already got another one open here Oh, it's buried under everything. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff on my desk. So this is the paper. Now, some people look at this and go, these are not my colours. For example, look at that. That is a pretty bold paper in design and in pattern. But I saw a lovely card yesterday where they had just a little bit of this peeking out. And then over on this side, they had something like what I've done with that other card. And... They used the, the colours that were the same and it just was really beautiful. But if you don't like this paper, there's always the other side. And look at that. That is gorgeous. So whenever you're looking at our pattern papers and you go, oh, I really don't like that, just turn it over. And I'm sure on the other side there's something much more calmer and subtle that you will like. Plus, with papers like this, my trick is to cover them with vellum. You can still see it through the vellum but it's a bit more muted and it just calms it down a little bit but that's the paper i'm not trying to turn anyone off this paper it's lovely paper it's just that people will look at that and go oh i don't like that but look at all these other lovely patterns it's only like one or two sheets that some people are like oh i don't know quick flip through mine is a mess you can see i've started using it already that is nice mossy meadow is the green um, and the others are Misty Moonlight, uh, Eclipso Coral, Bumblebee, those sort of colours. There's also uh, Blackberry Bliss in there. And of course, the paper that everyone loves the most, and I've probably used on mine already, this one, look at this. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous dragonflies. So the punch punches out these dragonflies, and it also punches out these little ones. Now, they're not lined up, like if you put that in, that is crooked and that is straight. So your trick to that, to using these, is to cut out along here, along like this sort of deal. Then you can put this little guy, cut him out, glue him on temporarily, washi tape or whatever, onto a longer strip of cardstock, and then you stick him in the top of your punch and punch him out. So, because um, if you were to try and punch them using this punch you would wreck this little guy because he doesn't line up but you know that's a really good trick on how you can use them all and I've actually done a card for a tutorial um, bundle for a group I'm in using these dragonflies and yeah that is really cool so lots of pretty papers all right I've spent too long on that one there we go that is nice you've probably seen 
Um, a lot of samples are already using this because this was um, one of the things that we could get super early. Okay. Dragonfly, right. Uh, card, go away. Oops. Mm. And this Garden Wishes stamp set also has these coordinating dies. Now they're called Dandy Wishes dies. Really nice. It cuts out this bunch of flowers, that's that one there, and that one there. But it also has these extra dies. Like, so you layer that one, that one, and that one. And it creates, oh, and that one, so there's four there. And it creates a um, 3D flower, and it's really, really pretty. So, and that's, that's really nice as well. So they're the dies that go with Garden Witches. You can buy them separately or buy them as a bundle or get the whole suite. Get everything together. Now also in that suite, we have the Dandy Garden Memories and More cards. Now if you're not a memory keeper, you can use these for um, normal cards. And even for popping someone a quick note. Like you've got kids, pop them a, a note in their lunchbox. Or send someone a quick little note like how cute would that be send your kids teacher a note about something rather than just on a scrappy bit of paper write on something like this they will treasure that because that's just really beautiful they're going to throw that away you're going to keep it you will soon will be teacher's pet so these are the really quick run through of the memories and more cards oh and the stickers look at that i love stickers Oh, they're nice. I haven't opened this pack, as you can tell. I'm seeing it for the first time. Some lovely sentiments. You can make cards out of these. Really easy. And if you don't do pocket page memory keeping, which is what these are designed for, um, normal scrapbook pages, these can go on as well. Our wonderful life. You know what it is about these? It's that style of leaf. I don't like that style of leaf. Reminds me of a weed. Which is what my garden's full of, so maybe I should grow to love it. Weekend getaway. Oh, that's a thing of the past. That's really pretty. There we go. Lots of lovely moments like these. Upside down moments, but it's okay. So you get a mix of the larger cards. They're 6 by 4 Sticker sheets. And then you get a heap of the smaller ones, which I think are 4 by 3 Hooray for today this week hello there thank you so very much see these make really simple cards you just need to put like a bit of patent paper behind it or not even uh, a bit of uh, I want to say honeybee but it's bumblebee <laughs> card stop put that on there a ribbon a bow and that's it you are done it's really simple simple card hey Beryl thanks for joining me all right, so just running through these, you get the gist, gist whatever, however you say it. Some really nice ones on there, in there, I mean. All right, so that's the Memories of More pack. I promise I'm going to get onto card making in a minute. I promise. All right, then you have the Dandy Garden Memories of More cards and envelopes. So the bigger cards in that pack I just showed you are 6x4, are um, too big to go in our normal envelopes. We need a bigger envelope, so that's what these are for. These coordinate beautifully. So just get one of those Mummies and More pack cards I showed you just before. Stick it on one of these, pre-printed, scored cards, if I can get them out of the packet. You'll be able to see them. Oh, here we go. Very nice. I don't know if they're they all the same or they're all different. Let me have a look. I think they're all the same. They are all the same. And the envelopes are all the same. Yep. And look at that lovely lining. That's really pretty. So a lot of those cards that I showed you, stick on there and there you go. Really easy. Right on it. Put it in a beautiful envelope. That is really pretty. Done. Really easy. You get lots in the pack. It's 20. Wow. That's really cool. Alright, next. 
This is another celebration item. This is the Oh So Ombre. I think it's a celebration. It's not telling me, but I think it is. Oh So Ombre paper. Maybe it's not. I think it might be. Oh my goodness. I've had one of those days, you know? You know when most days where everything just goes a little bit wrong? That's today. Oh, my software was glitching. Hey Beryl, that was a disaster in my team page. Trying to get that software to behave itself. I think it's actually my Wi-Fi network. Not happy jam without internet. All right, ombre paper. Who loves ombre? I think everyone loves ombre. Look at this. Wow, pretty. Uh, I don't know what the colors are. Hopefully it's gonna tell me somewhere. Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, and Whisper White. So that's Blackberry Bliss, that must be Granny Apple Green. Oh, nice. Oh, I love Granny Apple Green. Oh, Bermuda Bay. <gasps> Pretty. So they're all the same pattern, I would assume. Let me just check. Yes, all the same pattern. And in those four four colors nice that's very pretty paper so i'm pretty sure that's a celebration paper i could be wrong i'm probably wrong and i can't bring the brochure out to show you so maybe um yes beryl you gave up i know my software was a bit um well i don't think it's the software that was playing up i think it's my internet I have to connect to the Wi-Fi and we have had internet issues for weeks and Fox still are oh, trying whenever they feel like it to fix it. We had an NBN technician out the other day and he said, oh, I'm confident I'm going to fix it now. Two minutes later after he walked out the door, it failed again. It's like, oh, come on. So I'm frustratingly trying, you know, to do videos and Facebook lives and blog posts and no, I think my husband's sick of me yelling out. It's cozy, Kim. <laughs> anyway, all right, you are amazing. I'll show that in a minute because that goes with a kit. So we'll run through these things. Art gallery. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. Now I can't show you, and I don't have it, but in the catalog we have gold um, leafing. Uh, it is stunning and this is the suite that it's designed to go with. Oh my camera's crooked. I've just realized that now I have got rid of everything on the desk I have found that my camera is crooked. I'm sorry All right, I've just straightened it. Hopefully it's right But look at this uh, flowers mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, cold coffee um, Art gallery beautiful beautiful stamp set and I've got the paper here that goes with it and there's also a specialty paper so and yes I got everything if you're a demonstrator and you went to on stage at home yes I got everything from the um, premiere product thing <laughs> I got it all because I could I had lots of flex points for cash in <laughs> okay so these are the floral gallery dies that goes with this stamp set. Look at this. I don't know, what does that say? Just, I can't read. Just what? I can't read back to front. Let me turn it around. <laughs> just, and I know what it, just, oh, that's not going to help. Just, why, just, I oh, just want to say, oh my gosh tell ya one of those days I should go back to bed but I can't it's my daughter's 16th birthday today just want to say is what that says <clears throat> all right and beautiful cuts out these flowers these cut out these flowers and some really different they're like postage edge sentiment dice really cool all right now I shall show you the paper because it's really, really pretty. So the paper that goes with this is this one, Fine Art Floral. 
designer series paper. Hey Sylvia, thank you for joining me. No, don't worry about being late, darling. It's all right, you can always catch the replay. Wasn't anything very exciting anyway. <laughs> all right, so look at this paper. This paper is actually, uh, I'm pretty sure it's photos of a actual oil painting. You can actually see, when you look at the paper, you can actually see the bridges on the edge of the paint where they've painted. Is that like photos of canvases that were painted by an artist? They're stunning. And the other side is like a brush strokes with a pattern um, printed over the top. Beautiful. I love that Sam not go that extra mile. Look at that. You can actually oh, you can see the the paint on it. Like I just want to feel it around my hands over that texture. It's just gorgeous. Um, yeah, I love that Sarah would go the extra mile and actually get an artist to paint something that they then reproduce. Like the time, anyone remember that needlework one we had? And they actually got someone to stitch and embroider and then take photos on. Gorgeous. All right, so that's the back of that one. So brush strokes that they've printed a design over the top of. Oh, stunning. Oh my gosh, just gorgeous. This is my ultimate favourite in the suite. Look at that. I'll show you. This paper was actually used on something. Someone's messaging me. But that pink one's my favourite. Yes, actually I like this one. You know, Beryl? That one is really super pretty. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I could just frame that, you know, and put that on the wall of my office. That would be so pretty. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. This one. I'm sorry. This one needs its own. Look at that. I am actually going to get a 12 by 12 frame and just put that on my wall. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, and the other side, oranges, brush strokes. Beautiful. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All right, and I'll show you this paper. Like, you might look at that and go, mm, I don't know. But I'll show you something it was made in that I got. Oh. So if you look at this, this is that paper and on the reverse side, let me just take it off the box, so it looks really different and that is, that's the stamp that's been die cut out and they've used gold leafing on this little frame and there's the patterned paper there, oh stunning, let me just take this, so this is, oh, can you see in there, that's that patterned paper, the floral one that I really like, the grey background. So, so pretty. All right, let's move that aside now. So it's in the way. So really, really nice. Love that. There's also specialty paper that goes with it. So this is the Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate. Sorry. All right. I'm going to pull them out individually, I think, because you really can't see them. So you've got this nice, um, I don't know what that pattern is called. I'm sure it's got a name. Gold on one side, silver on the other. So you can use either side. Then you've got this bigger floral. Sorry, I'm trying to push that one in so that I can see this one. There we go. That nice floral. And I'm pretty sure... It overlays. Yes. This is definitely going to be a frame on my wall. Because look what this one does. Get me my favourite sheet out. This one. The gold overlays that. How stunning is that? <gasps> yes, that's me in a nutshell. Thank you very much, Stamp Up. That is going on my wall because that is outright stunning. Ah. Oh love it okay and then the other sheet that we have is this overall floral can you see that there really pretty gorgeous 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 so i'm just gonna pop that back in there because that's going to be a frame definitely i have to buy more paper now 
because I've just used a whole sheet. <laughs> hey, Kathy, that's okay. You're allowed to be late. You'll have to watch the replay. Oh, no, that's going to fall down. Oh, wait a minute. Just had everything on my floor fall over. Can't fall much further, but I was going to roll. Oh, now I'm kicking the bin. It's all happening today. All right. All right. I was going to fall. I was going to roll over it. All right. Simply succulents is the next one. I'm sorry. I'll go through this a bit faster because I'm taking forever. I've already been on here 38 minutes and I haven't made cards yet. Oh, I should have done this as a separate video. Hey. All right. Dyes to go with the succulents. Potted succulents dyes. There we go. Nice. I love it when they have extra little like sentiment bits that go with it. Dye for the pot, a dye for the, the succulents, some different um, sentiment dyes all matching up. Like so that one will go around that one, these ones will go around that one, that one, and then that one. That is really clever. So you don't have to find extra dies if you want your sentiments die cut as well. Wait, there's a second sheet there. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'll get that. <gasps> that's a whole die. Oh, imagine the possibilities with that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, okay. That is really cool. So that's the uh, Simply Succulents. All right. Now, next. Our blending brushes. I've used mine already, can you see? These are really nice. Now I know other brands have had blending brushes out for a long time. I have resisted buying them because I was waiting for Stampin' Up to bring them out and now they have. You hoo little ripper. Alright, so here they are. You get three in the pack. They are the most soft divine things to feel. I have one slight um, tip. One tip is that they seem to be weak here. Um, they're all designed the same, and I'm pretty sure all the other brands have the same problem. If you're heavy handed, they will break here because they are quite flexible. And if you can see that, they are flexible. So I like a harder feel anyway when I go to blend. Like doing this is too light for me. So I grab them here and, and blend them like that. And then you won't have a problem with them breaking. But they are divine. To clean off the colour that you've just used, rub it on scrap paper and then you'll get all that colour off and you can keep using it. But I can see eventually I'm going to have um, one of each colour. I just know. I don't know that's going to happen. Okay, so there are blending brushes. Now we have another celebration item. Darling donkeys. So, so cute. I know the zany zebras are popular. These donkeys are stinking cute. Um, I have a card somewhere that I made with them. Let me find it really sneak peek of this card and it's in plastic and it's doing there look at that oh look how cute that's it that's all you get to see um and yeah really nice that's a celebration set i think it's a level one so 90 dollars in an order and you get to choose the donkeys enjoying the moment that's the stamp set that we got if you registered for on stage and um our convention basically you got this stamp set for free it's different, it's not my style, but I can see already some different things I can make with this. Great for mail cards and all those gardeners in your life. Like, heaps of things you can do with that. Now, I'll go through some more paper that we've got. I don't know what this is. Dandy laser cut paper. Oh, I forgot this. Goes for the that one with the dragonflies, that mega sweet. This is like the laser cut paper, paper we had in the big 12 by 12. This is a smaller size. Pretty, look at this. Oh nice, so it's white. No, it's white on both sides. I was going to say white and vanilla, but it's just white. Dragonflies, nice. I've seen that pattern before. That was a pattern um, that we had when I first joined, I think, Stamp Up. It's like a celebration or something back then. More dragonfly. So these are, they're not um, paper. They're a little bit thicker than paper, but not quite a thick card um, feel. And they're all laser cut. 
so nice so that's the dandy laser cut paper all right we are nearly there and then we'll get on to what i said we're going to do today which is the um joy to the world paper pumpkin kit which i found out today um is selling super fast so if you want it make sure that you grab it um it makes beautiful cards it really does Alright, so I'll pop that away. And then I've got another celebration item. So I'm pretty sure this is celebration. Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. Really pretty. It's got a real um, watercolour hand painted look to it. Not necessarily watercolour, I guess. It's more hand painted look. That was quite bold with the black background. Stripey, sort of. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. With the yellow dots and the tealy colour with the flowers and black and teal spots. Daisies. Who doesn't love daisies? Nice. Green. Oh, that's pretty striking. Wow, this is really nice. The black background just sets it off something different. The blue flowers. Very nice. field of little flowers and then some stripes there we go so that I think is a celebration paper I can't tell you whether it's a level one or level two but when the brochures come out and you can see them then you'll know hey I can't see right now I can't show you the brochure I can't get out and flick through it and tell you all right you are amazing stamp set goes with this kit called You Are Amazing Project Kit. Now, I haven't even opened this. Um, but there's another kit, a floral kit, a floral card kit in the catalogue that I can't wait to get come um, December 1. Oh, all right, so this is the project kit. Great mail cards. So it looks like it makes four of each, four different types. So that's 16 cards, I would assume, if my math is right. Is that right? Actually, they, they've got flowers on them. they got flowers. So female, male, I don't know, whatever way you want. Instructions in different languages, English, French, and German, and Japanese. And then with all our project kits, you don't get like step one, do this, step two, do this. You get a picture and the steps are numbered. So then you find where they tell you what those numbers mean. So over here, number one, you stamp sentiment in flirty flamingo. Number two, stamp sentiment in granny apple green. Okay, so they are quite easy cards. You should be able to just look at them and go, I think I know what I need to do. So for this one, it's saying number five is adhere using stamp and dimensionals. Number three is stamp in mango melody. Number six, adhere using stamp and seal. And number seven is cut 24 inches of twine and wrap it around the slot in the vellum piece several times, tie in a bow and trim excess twine. So they've got all the instructions that you need and they make really cool, quick, easy cards. So should I pull everything out? Oh look, it comes in a bit. Oh, you know, I'm starting to get a collection of these little boxes and tins and stuff, all these card kits coming. This is nice. I like this one. A lot of them have ended up in my sewing area. Love this box. That's really pretty. Look at that. It's like a Bermuda Bay. So this is the stamp set that goes along with it. Pretty sure the stamp set is not included because this is a project kit. It's not an all-inclusive kit. All-inclusive is to have everything in it. If there's a stamp set that's separate, they have to purchase. It's just called a project kit. So that's a twine, green and white twine. I'll actually do, I think, a Facebook Live at one stage um, making these up because they don't want to come out right now. <laughs> come out. How do I get them out? There we go. Wow, there's a lot in there. Look at that. That's a lot of stuff. Wow. Let's have a really quick look and then I want to get on to my card because one of my devices I know is going to go flat before I get to finish. Because, you know, it's one of those days and just I just know what's going to happen. Alright, so what do we have? These are the cards. So they're pre-printed cards. That looks a bit like, like, sort of like a wattle. So, four of that card. Oh, 
Mega Melody Bax. That's really cool. The Vellum Tags. That's a card. Oh, that's a shiny. Can you see the shine on that? That's really pretty. Shine. I'm a little bit off camera, aren't I? I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. I need to move up. And then this card. That's a nice stripe. And you know, I find things always look nicer in real life than in the catalogue. Just oh, really nice. All right. And this is the last card. That's just a plain, plain card. A bit boring after you have all those ones, but anyway. <laughs> These are envelopes, and they are all lined, obviously all different to go with the different cards. Maybe not. Maybe I've just chosen the same ones. Maybe they're all the same. I don't know. No, they are different, different colours. So all the envelopes are lined, and then you get all the elements to put on. So what are they? The tulips. Uh, this is a really easy kit. This is great if you have um, someone in your life for Christmas who likes crafting but they don't want to have a lot of supplies on hand. Give them a kit and give them the, then just get them the stamp set and you know they're set to go. Great for teenagers or kids who want to fill in a bit of time over the Christmas holidays. These are really good um, Christmas gifts, these type of kits. That's got gold around it, that's really nice. Oh, nice. I like this kit. And the stars, they're die cuts. There's two on there. And they're more vellum bits. Okay, cool. Alright, so that is that kit. It's called the You Are Amazing Project Kit. Oops, I left the drawing tag behind. Alright, let's pop that back in there and then we shall move on. That's all I had to show you. I'm going to move on to what we should be doing today. Alright, so it's the box. I'm sure I'll pop all that away. Alright. Now, we are talking about our Paper Pumpkin Joy to the World kit. It's still available, so if you haven't got it, Please get it soon because it's selling out fast. Now I've assembled these, some of these, and I've also made some other alternate designs. So it's not as you normally get it. You normally get it all wrapped in tissue paper and all very nice. Um, but I don't have that because I've dismantled it. <laughs> so I'll show you the elements, okay? So this is the stamp set that you get. Beautiful wreath. Joy, Merry Christmas, another little flower, and some buds, and more sentiments. Now these are the cards that it makes. It makes two cards, not just two total cards. You get like lots of cards. Let me find the brochure. Alright, so these are the two cards that the kit makes. Four, oh sorry, four of each. But they also give you, so inside you also have like the instructions on what to do. And then they give you some, whoops, I'm throwing it away, <laughs> some alternate ideas in the back. So there's some different ideas here of what you can do with the components of the kit to create something different. So what I thought I would do today is show you the two cards that it makes and actually make one of each up, okay? And then I'm going to show you some alternates that I made and then make an alternate. So this is... These are, sorry, my grammar is horrible today. Goes along with my oh, day that I've had. Oh, gosh. All right, so there's one card. There's the second card. Aren't they just so pretty? Now, the card fronts have, um, I don't know if it's gold. It might be like brass. I think it's like brass foiling. I don't know if you can see that. But brass detail, foiling detail on the card front. And then you've got all these different elements. They're all die cut. You just have to pop them out and stick them on. The only stamping to do is the sentiment and the wreath. So this is the other one. So there's four that go landscape mode and four that go your normal portrait mode. Okay. So I'm going to make one of each of those. In the kit you also get a Just Jade Stampin' Spot. The stamp set, obviously, the twine, and then all the components to make um, four of each of the cards, 
and the envelopes. So let me show you the envelopes. They are lined. So that's really, really pretty. So they're all the envelopes that you get. All right, so let's get making. I've got all my elements here ready and you watch me make a mess, get it wrong. You know, it's, I keep saying it, but it's one of those days. Oh, my printer, I was getting my report ready for my daughter for her homeschooling, sent it to the government. And I was copying all her samples of work and the printer decides it doesn't want to copy anymore. It's like, what? And then my software for my live on my team page decided it wanted to play up. And it's like, oh, I just want to go back to bed. Right, so we need the landscape card. We need the pre-embossed white panel. Oh, I've got a spare. Okay. Which makes me think I may have used two on there. My mistake. No, I've only got one. And they also include the dimensionals. Sorry, there's dimensionals and um, glue dots in the pack as well, which I've just put in with my stash. So there's pre-embossed, looks like a cable knit type of um, pattern, which you probably can't see in the camera, but trust me, it's embossed. I need a sentiment strip. I need a gold banner, the twine, and my two flowers. So all these elements, okay, come in a, like this in a sheet and they're all die cut out. You just gotta pop them out of the paper. But I already popped a lot of them out because I've used all of them except these ones. Okay, so that's all I need for this card. And I'm gonna stamp my Merry Christmas first. And I'm not gonna use the stampin' spot because I've already got a Just Jade um, ink pad. So I will just use that. Merry Christmas. Oh, and if anyone wants to um, purchase from my online store, this is the host code to use for any online orders this month. And that is the link to my online shop. If you can't understand my writing, I always get told I have horrible writing. It's http dot slash slash like a normal website. Bitly, so bit dot ly forward slash shop with Narelle. Okay, so that's my online shop. You can buy all the um, items that I use. All right, let's get our Merry Christmas happening. And for some reason, my camera's like up higher. So I'm probably gonna go off screen a bit if I do. Someone please let me know. And hopefully my hair doesn't get in the way and I can get this straight. Oh, cross everything. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm just going to recreate what I've got here. I'm not going to pull out the instructions and, and follow them because I just, I'm running out of room. Doesn't everyone when they craft? Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so our first layer is raised with dimensionals. Just going to put this on. Sorry, trying to remember to stay on, on camera. I wonder if my, if my um thing's actually zoomed in because they seem to be struggling to stay in frame today. Oops. Okay. And it's sort of over on the side, not in the middle, but over to the left a little bit. And I'm not measuring it, you know. Right, the next is our twine. And I know by looking at my card sample, I can put a glue dot here and a glue dot there for my loop to stick to. So this is how you do the loopy bits the easy way. And I've moved all my tools on the other side of my desk. So yeah, I keep going to my right and go, no, they're not there anymore. So I can just stick a glue dot there. Now it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just to hold my twine in place. And then, I'm not measuring it, I'm just gonna go, yeah, that looks about right. I guess so, that's about right. Wait a minute, a little bit more. There you go. They give you lots and lots of this sort of stuff and I, I tend to not use probably that much. 
Now it's all really curly like this when you get it off the reel. So just get it between your thumb and your finger and just pull it through and you'll find it will take a lot of those kinks out and it's a bit more manageable. All right, so there you go. It's a little bit more straight now, so it's not gonna be all a mess to work with. Now this is quite a large circle of twine. So I just wrap it loosely around my hand. I hold it with my thumb here to hold it in place. It's a little bit too curly. And then I sort of want, I guess that bigger circle, maybe a little bit bigger. So I'll pull it out a little bit. And then I just wrap it around and I probably should have wrapped that a bit more, used a bit more force when I did that straightening. All right, so there I have my circle. That looks pretty good, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to stick that bit there to the glue dot and then make sure I've got it like nice where I want it. And then that bit can stick to that glue dot. All right, and there you go. That's how easy it is to do these circles. Some people look at them and go, oh, that's just all too hard. It's not hard. Right, now I'm looking at the card. What have I done next? I have, I have to have a peek. Oh, I put them on first. I put the flowers on that I can't pick up. On dimensionals. Now I don't want to put the dimensionals too high because I don't want them to go over that because then it will dip down when they stick. Alright, so one of the flowers up towards the top like that. Wait, they're a different. Oh no, it's sticking. It doesn't really matter what way they go. I just realised it looks a little bit different to that one, but huh? It doesn't matter. Okay, and then this one down the bottom. Okay. Now, this whole piece, I'm going to do as one. So I'm going to put my Merry Christmas on there and then attach it to my card front. So I'm going to use blue dots for that, which I have somewhere. Sorry, I think I'm not Just get that centered vertically and horizontally. So it's like hopefully centered. Probably not. That's not. Look at that. Oh well. It is what it is. Alright, now I don't want to put this on dimensionals. I'm just going to pop it on with a couple of glue dots here and here. Because whenever I use uh, dimensionals for something like this, you can guarantee that I have it dipping somewhere. That's just how I do it. And you don't need a lot, so you just center that. So this is slightly wider than that square that we put on. So I'm just going to line it up with that square. Make sure I have enough flower covering showing on each one okay there we go there's the first card done pretty i love these flowers it's so so pretty all right so there's one card now we're going to do the other one which is just as simple so you've got your card base just opens like this you have another piece this one's a bit bigger of the embossed um, paper. This is a rectangle. The other one was a square. And then you have your wreath. Which we need to stamp. Right, now, this wreath stamp, I tried to get to line up. And I don't know whether it's meant to line up or what the go is with it, but I could never get it lined up. So I'm just going to stamp and hope for the best. 
because I couldn't get it lined up where it wasn't, some of the leaves weren't covering the berries. But I also didn't spend a lot of time trying to get it lined up, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be really honest. All right, so I'm just going to ink up our wreath with Just Jade. And then I'm not even going to attempt to get it lined up. I'm just going to... See, I even tried to line up the indents like that. And then, okay, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Everyone got everything crossed? It'll probably turn out really good this time. Oh, not too bad. But I always get some leaves over the berries. But anyway. All right. Now, next we need to wrap our twine around this piece before we put it on. I guess that's enough. So I used a bit more force this time when I did that, so I've now got a much straighter twine. And I've got lots, so I'm going to wrap it around twice. It's going to be a rebel. It's going to look different, but you know... It's okay. Just gonna tie a bow. I'm gonna attempt to tie a bow. So I can't talk while I'm tying bows. It's serious stuff. There we go. out your bow so you're happy with it. I'm sorry, my bow looks really nice. Cut off the ends. Alright, so now our wreath goes on using dimensionals. getting there now our joy just going to use a fine tip glue pen for that and I'm not doing the whole of the word I'm just doing where I think it's going to go over the, the wreath and I probably should have checked where that is but I like to live dangerously but I'm pretty sure the J and the Y is where it's going to Connect. And I'll probably put a joy up higher. But anyway, now I've got my sentiment piece and we're going to do to the world somewhere. No, yes, to the world. Where is it? To the world. Sorry, just rattling around in my drawer of um, blocks. <laughs> you don't realise when you're crafting by yourself how much noise you can make. Like, I don't think about it and I just rattle around in my drawer of blocks to find the right block. But when you're listening and watching, you don't want to hear all that kerfuffle. Fingers crossed this is straight. I don't want to put my head over the top. And, oh, not bad. Alright, I'm going to move my bow down a little bit because I want my sentiment not to go over it too much. Alright. Now, one dimensional on this side of the sentiment and then a glue dot 
on the other end. I'm just going to pop this with the bow out of the way. And pop that there against the edge. Beautiful. And now this is on dimensionals. more dimensionals than me? Who uses less dimensionals than me? What's your normal number you use on a piece like this? I probably could have put one at the top as well, but that could be a bit of overkill. All right. And there we have, hopefully that is straight. So they're the two cards that the kit makes. Sorry, that was a long time getting that done, hey? All right, so there we go. That is the, the two cards the kit makes. Now I made some alternates that I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to make one of these alternates. All right, so these are, actually I made lots of alternates. <laughs> it's just so pretty, I couldn't stop. All right, so there's another one. This is quite a detailed one. So I've used the beautiful bows dies and cut out lots and lots of um, greenery around the edge. And then I've used the joy dies to add the piece there. Just move these aside so we can get them all in. Then I've created this one with the beautiful die cut flower that is in the, the kit. And then I've stamped the flowers down the bottom. Hopefully you can see all them. The twine in the middle and the love word. This is my favourite. No, actually my second favourite. Then I have this one. Wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. The background is just used the scripty um, embossing folder on the background on the white. And then embossed, heat embossed with white, a sentiment on that die cut. Quite simple that one, but very effective. This is a fancy fold that I've done. So really easy fancy fold. I've just put the flowers on the join. And that's more a Valentine's card, I guess. But that is really pretty as well. Then I have created this one. And this is the one I'm going to recreate. And then I've got an idea for another one. So let me just check my phone is not going flat. Or I might have to plug it in. I don't know how much battery life it's got, but I'm going to plug it in. Bear with me. Because if I go flat, then I've got a problem. And it doesn't reach. Oh, now that's a problem. Oh, let's hope we don't go flat. <laughs> I must have moved something on my desk. And now my charger cable doesn't reach. Oh, anyway, so this one we're going to recreate. Thank you for bearing with me, everyone. I hope I'm giving you some inspiration. That when you look at the... The kits don't think you have stuck on just making the ones that are included if you don't like them you can use everything that's included for whatever you want change them up all right so for this one really easy it's pretty much similar to one in the kit I'm just using the piece word. So the, the gold or the, the bronze letters, there was joy, peace, and love um, are the words that you had. So the first card uh, or the second card I showed you, like this one, you didn't have to use joy. You could use love or peace there. So the gold came in a few different word options. So for this one, I'm still using the middle, no, it's right, the large piece of the embossed paper. I have sponged it with our new... Oh, that I threw on the floor. Our new blending brushes. Okay, and then I have just mounted it on a piece of Just Jade cardstock. I've put the red or cherry cobbler banner underneath and then stamped the sentiment. So this one's really not that hard. It just is a little bit different. So something different that you can do. And again, I'm going to everything and hope that this this works 
Didn't want it too bad last time. Yeah, not too bad. Should be right. All right. So I'm going to show you how easy these blending brushes are to use. So I just want to build a little bit of colour around the edge. Now I'm going to hold it here, like I said before, and then whenever you get start blending, you can see I've done something blue here already. Start off the paper and then come onto the edge so that if you go down really hard, like you see there, I end up with a blotch. You end up with a blotch of colour, which you don't want. You want like a, a more seamless blend. So you start off the bit that you want to blend and come blend your way onto it, if that makes any sense. I'm probably not explaining that properly. But I find these give a really beautiful blend. When I try to blend with the sponges, I get, I think because the texture is coarser, um, I get like a real blotchy type of blend. I can never get them very smooth. But these are, look how simple these are. Oh, they're so good. Love it. So I think I'm going to get one for every colour <laughs> of ink that we have. <laughs> oh. I think I have to find some way to store them. I'm running out of room. So it happens when you're a collector and you have to just collect all the crafting stuff you can. <laughs> I need to take over the garage. That's what I need to do. Hubby won't let me. Because apparently in, um, like we're not true Queenslanders, born and bred in Sydney, really, both of us. Um, and we find a lot of people in Queensland don't put their cars in their garages. So I should tell him that, you know, it's a Queensland thing. Your car's allowed to be out in the... But no, he won't. So then I could use the garage. I could expand. All right, there we go. We have a blended background. I could go on and on and on blending that. But I'm going to leave it like that. Just going to mount it onto my Just Jade cardstock. Oops, sorry. That was my water bottle. Ding! Now I'm going to wrap some twine around it. So is anyone doing anything exciting this coming weekend? We are hump day, so we're halfway through. Yes, Kathy, carport in front of the garage. Oh, that's a good idea. Right now, I've cut this too short to tie a bow, so I'm just going to do a knot. But I've also wound it around an extra time, but it's okay. And I'm not happy with how that is sitting. It's not sitting flat. So here's another trick I do. So the top two are quite tight to a card, and this one's a bit floppy. So we're just going to grab this one. Let me get some tape first. Can't have floppy string. Right, I'm going to grab this one, pull it tight. Oh, look, there's a dimension back. They get everywhere, don't they? And then I'm just going to tape these in place. And then the, the loose bit can be at the back. I don't care, no one's going to see it. But at the front, they're going to be nice and tight. And then my, see my loosey, loosey bits are there now. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, next our, uh, what's it called? Brief. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Goes on with dimensionals. Our piece goes on with a little bit of the fine tip glue pen and I'm just working out 
where to put that glue. So I think I want on the P and the joint of the E should be enough. So I'm putting it in the middle because that, um, oh no, oh no, I had that sitting lid off and it's, oh, uh, to get the heat gun to it, not coming out now. Bother, 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 I shouldn't have said that. All right, let's use a little bit of this glue. Will work just as well. I need a tiny squidgy bit. And then our sentiment to you and yours. Sorry if my hair gets in the way. Oh, I've got to the world. Never mind, it's already out. So that's what it is now. It's to the world. It's not to you and yours. It's to the world. And again, a dimensional this side and a glue dot the other side. go now I'm just going to cut a tail in this so if you haven't seen how to do a tail before you just cut up the middle okay and then in from each corner and I don't measure I'm notorious for not measuring but there's always more cuts okay that's what I say Now this is going to glue straight onto the card front, not that one because that's already done. Let's do this one. That would have been a bit funny, wouldn't it? In the middle, straight on. I should have checked my cards opening the right way. Yes, wouldn't have mattered. It's upside down. And then this just goes on with dimensionals and then that card is done. And if I suddenly disappear, um, it's probably because my phone is going flat that I'm coming to on. So apologies if that happens, but it actually won't show me what percentage the battery is while I'm doing this. And then I've got one more card I want to try if you are willing to keep watching. If not, that's fine, you can talk along. You can always come back and Watch the replay later. Okay, and then. This is just going to go in the middle. Fingers crossed, it's in the middle. And then we do it. So there's another card. So lots of different cards we can get out of this pack. The only difference with this one is I've tied a bow on this one and just a knot on that one. I think the bow looks better, but it is what it is. There we go. Now the last one I want to try. I had this idea come to mind, so I sketched it, and I want to try it. So, this is my sketch. It's a very good, elaborate sketch, don't you agree? I think that's fantastic. Sketch to end all sketches, that one. <laughs> I'm going to use the flower. I have one left over. Um, that, and I had a gold thing left over, a gold banner left over and then a sentiment piece. So the idea is to stamp the flower, stamp the other flowers around it from this stamp set, from this here, around, and see what we can come up with, hey? Now I don't know whether I should do an oval. I think it needs to go this way. It's going on a cherry cobbler card base. Oh, it's going that way. So I've already cut my tent fold card, so it has to go this way. Let's move this out of the way. So it's going that way. And the idea is to have the flower here, or that way, and then stamp these around. It may not work, but this is my idea. We don't know until we try. So mount our stamp first up. 
And I'm going to stay it in a uh, cherry cobbler. Right, I'm going to leave that as a guide so I know roughly where I'm going to stamp my other flowers. And I'm not pre-drawing a circle or anything. I want it to be a bit more freeform than a proper circle. And I really should stamp, ink my stamp up properly. Maybe I need to re-ink my ink kind of thing. Because it's continually not stamping on the same spot. So I need to re-ink. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about this. We'll see. I need to bring that down a bit. And if I cover that one. Uh, I don't know. I don't like how this is turning out, but it doesn't matter. I can change it. might be better. Oops. And I may need to overlap some down here. There is my problem. Got a gap there. I'm not going to worry that one's overlapping because I plan to cover it. a little bit better. Now I need one up here. I think we're getting there. That's a bit better, isn't it? And then I can put a bow down here. I think we're done. That's the bones of it anyway. dimensionals. Maybe I should glue that on. Let me rethink that. Because I don't want it seen. I don't want those ones being seen. Let's get this one on so it's not floating around in the way. on okay, there looks okay now I'm going to stamp this with Merry Christmas and I'll do it in Just Jade because I've already used Just Jade on it pick up the green in the uh, flowers there as well. And I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. That is crooked. Look at that. Oh gosh. I think it's probably set too much now to straighten as well. Oh no, not quite. Is that more straight or am I just moving the paper? That's a bit better, isn't it? Alright. Let's put our Merry Christmas on. Sorry if my head's getting in the way. And now we just need a bow and we're done and thank you all for sticking around this has been a bit of a marathon hasn't it oh look i should have just used all of it look how much i had left 
too funny. Now I'm going to attempt a double bow. This may not work because of the curliness of the twine, but here we go. So I've got two equal lengths. I'm going to hold them together and just make a bow using both bits of twine. This may not work. Sort of float. There we go, that's looking better. Alright. Now my trick for gluing on things like this, you could use liquid glue or the fine tip glue pen. But I get our glue dots and I roll them around until they're a tiny little ball just like that okay little ball and I put that on the back of the bow this is where fingernails come in handy and there we have Front, we just need to mount it now. And we're done. Whoops. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, wow. Scissors didn't want to let go. And we're going to glue that on. Oh, sorry. It's my bracelet being really banging and normal. And I mean, annoying. I don't notice it half the time. Because I've always got it on. But Sorry. Okay. Here we go. And we're nearly done. Now, another trick. When you have a bit like this that hasn't stamped properly and it's really quite noticeable, it's where your bling comes in. Let me get my bling out. Oh, okay. Now, I'm thinking I want a bit of gold, so I don't have anything gold, or for some retired gold stuff, oh my goodness, look at them, I don't think I have, my gilded gems are not here, so, oh I've got some red rhinestones that I've coloured in, with stamp and blends, that'll work, that's handy, now where are all my tools gone, okay, I'm just going to add now some of the red rhinestones. I'm going to try and cover up that this is a little bit dodgy in the, the inking. And then let's put another one up here. And one more. So you do things in uneven numbers. We'll put one on the centre of the Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, done. That actually turned out nicer than I thought it would. We got there in the end. So it wasn't looking that great at one stage, but hey, it worked. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, so I'm just gonna grab out all the cards that we've made. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Okay, so our paper pumpkin kit has made the ones that come with the kit, two of those, two of those, so these are the ones that the kit is designed to make. And then I've made all these others. Two of those. One of these, I love this card, they're pretty. That one, and then this one, and that one, and our piece one, and then that last one that we just made now. So lots and lots of stuff you can make out of this kit. Oh, you don't wanna see my funky glue pot there, I'll just move that out of the way. <laughs> Thank you for watching everyone. That was a bit of a marathon live. I'm so sorry. Um, but there you go. That's the Joy of Pumpkin. Joy of Pumpkin. <laughs> ah, Joy to the World Paper Pumpkin Kit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching and putting up with me and all my silliness. I hope to see you back here next Wednesday. Have a wonderful week. 
if you need anything at all, any crafting um, supplies and you're in Australia, please, uh, here's my link to my shop. I appreciate all my customers, no matter how small the order. Use the host code that I have listed there and you'll get extra free goodies from me in your thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next week. Bye-bye.